Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing game of Amu Zenka vs Apollo. This one's going to be interesting. So I'm going to check out Heartseeker because it's actually looking pretty good. 15. That doesn't give me... Yeah, it doesn't give me nearly enough. That gives me 10 over Bluestone, which gives me... 15. Okay, so we'll take Bluestone and I was just trying to check if any power differences uh, were worth making some changes for, but no, clearly not. Um, so in Apollo, that's actually a pretty good matchup to fight Amu Zenkov because I'm not going to go my typical build. I'm going to go raw power, no crits. Let's see if that gets me anywhere. It's going to be a four uh, particularly pressuring more than anything. So if you get your enemies caught right here, they can't come at you, and you can take advantage of this 100%. You take no damage, and you pretty much don't need potions if you get this. But if you fail to get potions, and you were supposed to get this, and you or you fail to get, you, you're gonna take damage. But you're not gonna take damage as long as you're all the way back here. So yeah. Thank you. I'm not hurt, unlike you, buddy. Well, someone's dying already. So I'm just gonna stand right here. Oh, I took I took damage. I don't know from what, but I definitely took some damage. And I didn't take any from that. So we're gonna go ahead and set that there. Tag him. And for more poking, just let that happen. He's got to run through the damage, so make that real. And I'll conserve my mana to the best of my ability to keep hives up, because that's a priority right now. Oh, I missed. Missed and wasted a lot of mana for nothing. Should have done it for the wave clear. But that's alright. Just gotta deal as much damage as I can. To get him to stay back. He's just gotta lose gold, that's all I'm worried about. There, he lost quite a bit right there. So you think he's trying to get in range of something here. So I'm able to just keep him at bay. Uh, he hugged the wall. Damn. My mana is looking pretty slow. Just gotta get out of the way of that passive of his. Get him to back off once again. He's most likely going to back. Ooh, you dick. Alright, so we're going to keep my healing up. Take out his archers, and then pressure him back. Okay, so I heard him. Just got to watch for the towers aggro, that's all. Make sure I have a hive up close and I can stay personal with him. He'll probably want to go for the hive if anything. He's using it to get some free damage on me and he eventually got the hive. Oh shit. Hey, that's not cool, buddy. That's not cool. So, if he backs, I back. Simple as that. I get pretty much endless potions as long as I'm over here. If I pop a potion, I get double of healing, which is awesome. Oh shit. Hey, I almost got him though. Lost my ult. So, remember when I said if he's ult backing, I'm backing? It's so he doesn't come back at me with his ult, which a lot of people tend to forget. So we're just going to rush transcend- uh, not transcend. Heartseeker, and then Hasten Fatalis will go into Dev Gauntlets right after, so we're just going to maintain a lot of pressure this way. Alright, so let's hurry up, get back to lane. Took both hives out up the front, so I'll probably be back just a little bit. Now he thinks he's going to be clever and go for this. Which honestly, he will. He missed so many of those shots, that was ridiculous. 
I don't think he knows how to hit those shots, so I'm just going to go ahead and pressure him here. Got him with bees. Oh, got him. There we go. He turned, and I think he was trying to dodge, and that just kind of cost him uh, his life. So again, taking out these hives is very important, as it does um, require you to be wary of my. You gotta take him out because if you don't, I'm gonna be a lot faster and stronger and constantly healing and all a lot of stuff. So it's important to take a Moose and Cubs hives out. It's worth it if you do. And if you don't, typically he'll just heal and wreck you at the same time. So if he's not there, I know where he went. He went to go take the other power buff because my hive is still over there and I don't know if he saw it, but I definitely want this one. Oh, he's taking his purple buff instead, so he gave up both reds. That works. As long as I keep building stacks for my heart seeker, I'm actually kind of cool with this. Alright, and then minions will push. I apply my pressure, simple as that. Bada bing, bada boom. And like I said, it's good to have as many hives up in an area as you can. Maintain that hive control. I'm going to level up my alts. Alright, so he can't back for a little longer. Gives me just a bit more time. I really don't want him to leave. I don't. He's at half life. This gives me a hell of an advantage. Ooh, look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, he dodged it! Oh, so shameful. Alright, I'm not going to stop him anymore. I am going to run out of mana if I do. To which I need to use mana on this. And if he ults in, I can pretty much be okay. I'll be fine. I'm full health. He'll take a little bit of life from me from the ult. But I don't want to stand near minions when he does it. Because I kind of figured that's what he'd go for. I still need 2,050 for devs, so that's going to have to happen. Oh, he, he mezzed me. Got some armor. Look at that. He's so fancy. Put my hive back up, because again, healing is all the important right now, and I can go get devs. You walk back into it, all right. Bees. It's just going to cost him a bit of health every time he runs into something small like that. All right, so he lost the chance to hit me with a wave clear. Oh, get him, minions! There we go. Didn't even have to kill him. Took it with minions. Like a boss. So Dev Gauntlets is next, and I'm going with a brand new build because I want to like test out what a power build would do on an Amuzan Cob. And the reason for that is because Amuzan Cob is different from most hunters being... Uh, he he kind of has this weird hive sustain, and he can pressure. So I'm going objective base over killing which includes a Titan's Bane instead of Executioner. If I can even hit him. That'd be awesome. I, I'm still going to get a Frostbound, though. That's going to have to happen. Alright, so I'm missing my hive from that side. Put that back up. I need a hive just to be a little bit closer because I lose my attack speed just as I'm about to enter tower range. Don't know if he's trying to be cheeky or something, but I'm going for his tower. Or he's going for his purple. I he's trying to be cheeky. Look at that. Thank you. 
I'll teach you. Wait, wait, wait. That means your purple's about to come back, buddy. Oh, you took my hive out, you jerk. Got him again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, pick that up. Oh, damn, he actually tricked me out there. I didn't think he'd deal that damage, but he did. He most definitely did. Give me that Frostbound so I can start dealing some damage. I'm not sure if I want Blue Stone Pendant, but he could take the right red if he's smart. He'll go right for it. Take two jungle camps. Be pretty good. Oh, he got armor. No wonder I'm not dealing damage to him. I'm going to need that Titan's Bane a lot earlier than I thought. Okay, so that's going to be my next item is Titan's Bane. Most likely, gonna he's going to return with an alt, so got to get that done. That was a good counter build of him to go ahead and build straight armor f from my pure power. It's always a smart idea. Now, if he's also smart, he'll check buffs instead of ulting to lane. Got to rebuild my power. Now, I know that Heavy Hammer itself got a little nerf, so... Uh, with that, I gotta push this real quick. With that, I've got to make sure that I get the full thing, but I need Pen right now because he's got armor. So hold on. Let's go ahead and sell this, get uh, Titan's Bane, and then we'll work on Frostbound next because he's going Executioner next, so I actually might need some defense. But actually, yeah, I'm not gonna go defense. Let's uh. Let's go ahead and give no defense a try. He's hurting me more than I'm hurting him though. That's not a good thing. Still got him infected, dealing minor amounts of damage to him. Hmm. The armor is definitely hindering my play just a bit and my inability to press forward is going to kill me in the end. Need to heal the 139 please, thank you. Put a hive up, start shooting them in the face. Not honestly sure how he uh, managed to drop that but holy crap I'm going to need some freaking defense because his his damage is kind of real right now. Looks like I am going to finally fork up some defensive play. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a Neeman. See, I was going to go Transcendence on top of everything, but it seems like I need the defense because for some reason that hurts badly. Let's go ahead and pressure. I hope he already took that other red. That's what I'm hoping for. There we go. I'll get the timer for red, if anything. I need to put a hive up immediately so that if he tries to encounter me, I can still fight. Oh no, I didn't see you, buddy. Oh, wow, no, you didn't see me. What the hell? I can't hit a line. There we go. Let's put another one up. Alright, fine. No, actually, I'll just get another hive and start defending. Um, seems like crits are the way to go. I'm trying to do a double damage buff. It is not working. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick swap to crits, because crits are going to save the day. There we are. Go ahead and back. I'll return. Because he can dive it, it's fine. I'm just going to sell for rage. Yeah, he barely hurts it. I will also most likely sell for, uh, instead of a Titans, I'm going to go for Executioner myself, because Executioner is the way to go. All 
Alright, so I'm making leeway on him. Oh, missed my ult! And I think he thinks he can handle it. And there's my hive, so faster. That's me. Let's put another hive up. Stay ahead of him, slow him down, and boom, done. So there you go, guys. I don't think that a power build is actually going to work for me here. As much as I want it to, uh, I will actually have to really swap everything out for this to be a thing. But I do get a lot of um, pen here, so I can probably take his... Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna die for it, but I'm gonna take it. Because if you wonder why I'm gonna die, it's not from that. It's from that. I'll see if I can't juke him in. Let's put another hive up. Oh, man. Oh, we got shield the under. We're out. He got me. Not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. He's got sprint I, I, and shield the underworld already, so I have to be careful. So we're gonna go ahead and get sprint and shield of the underworld. And how much does this sell for? And 66. I need the pen for now. Can't exchange it for a piece of uh, executioner. I can't. So when he's got sprint, I need sprint. He's going for a cursed blade, which means I will need executioner. Uh, but I do have a few things over him, such as um, Phoenix, and he's going for the buff over here, so. Did he get it? Oh my gosh, cleared it. Damn it. You know what, he's out. Whatever. Let me just speed up real quick here. Alright, he's freaking hindering me pretty hardcore, so let's go ahead and set this here. I won't fight him here. Alright, so we're gonna take Titan out for a little walk. Deal as much damage as I freaking can to it. Get some health. And put another hive up here, because I can. Let's just get back into high range and start screwing shit up. All right, and I'll have sprint in a second here. Uh oh, uh oh, frostbound's looking like a bit much here. <laughs> we bought the same idea, the both of us, but it looks like I may have actually won this game. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm missing three items here. Hang on, let me grab them. I can't even afford them yet. I need uh, I need a lot of money. Wow, that's actually shocking how much money I need for this. Um, could just get Titan's Bane. I don't want to waste it on that. I actually want the Frostbound Hammer, which honestly I might be able to afford by the time I get out. I'll get full Frostbound, which will slow his attack speed down. Uh, then I'll also have the additional buff that Frostbound Hammer got, which is nice. So the fact I've had to change build has drastically hindered me. I lost my lane pressure because of no hives, and uh, he's still not going to take this tower, no matter how hard he tries. Let's go ahead and make a nice good old push right here, and we're going to reestablish my dominance of hives right now. I don't think he saw like either of his hives there. Uh, I've really lost some serious uh, attack speed here. Alright, so I won't fall back anymore. I've at least got something to fall back on. I just need some more time before well, the clouds make this a little hard to read here. I think I hit him. Yep. So 
Well, again, more damage I could deal to him, and if he backs, I'm going for the tit uh, Phoenix. His Titan's healing, and he's buying as much time for his Titan as he can. And that's actually very awesome. It's smart, actually. Beyond smart. Now, if he runs up to my minions again... Oh, he didn't! He didn't! And that's game. I mean, I could pretty much take this right now. All right. And then you go ahead and you stand as far away from the Phoenix, but there's a point where you can still hit it. Yeah, so this build, definitely not normal, not amazing. There it is. The bees actually dealt enough damage to the uh, titan. That was a good match. Apollo did very good. Um, I I didn't go with my normal build because I wanted to try something new. Uh, didn't work, so I didn't try to revert back to my build, which threw me behind. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.